Welcome to the Moto Mech channel. Today let us see how an auto choke or automatic choke works. Before we get into the working of an auto choke, let us see what an auto choke is. Auto choke is a solenoid valve which when energized blocks the airways of a carburetor restricting airflow, therefore letting more fuel which means richer mixture into the cylinder. Auto choke functions based on the voltage fed to it as directed by a control unit. Automatic choke consists of four main parts namely, the plunger, sleeve, a solenoid and housing. Plunger, the plunger has two ends one which protrudes outside the housing and the other end housed inside the housing. Sleeve, the sleeve is placed centrally in the housing into which the inner side of the plunger fits into. The sleeve and plunger both are made of a conducting element. Solenoid, solenoid is the generic term for a coil of wire used as an electromagnet. The sleeve is winded by several turns of copper element which magnetizes when voltage is passed through it. The solenoid acts as a driver which pulls the plunger back when energized and releases the plunger when the voltage input is cut off. Solenoid has two terminals, a positive and a negative one which is connected to the control unit. Housing the housing may be of a metal or a plastic one. Epoxy is stuffed in between the housing and solenoid which acts as a barrier or an insulator restricting current flow to the surrounding. Let us now see the working of the auto choke practically. When voltage is passed to the choke unit the solenoid creates a magnetic field from the electric current and creates a linear motion where the plunger is drawn or pulled towards it. The plunger moves within the sleeve due to the electromagnetic force and restricts the flow of air choking the passage. As the airflow gets reduced to the carb, the engine draws more fuel turning the mixture to be rich enabling easy starting of the vehicle. Chances of failures of automatic choke are very minimal. Dust accumulation due to bad air filter around the plunger or damage in the seating ring of this automatic choke leads to sticky choke operations. In case of internal shorting of the solenoid winding the choke assembly needs to be replaced. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned by subscribing to the Moto Mech channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video.